Hello internet people and welcome to what is sadly and hopefully the last episode of Silver October 2023. The plan for today is to finish up the Barra Studio Romy top. All I have left is to attach the sleeves and hem the sleeves and I'm not gonna lie attaching sleeves especially with a serger kind of freaks me out but Halloween is in a few days, so it's actually pretty festive to be scared by your sewing project. So that's the plan. Hopefully we can finish that today in an hour, like we've been doing all month. Then I can reveal the final project, and then maybe we can chat a little bit about how my fitting attempt went um, and assess that situation a little bit, and I'll just kind of wrap it up here. Oh, in case you were wondering, I'm wearing my Vlogtober 2021 project. This is the um, peppermint peplum top in this cat moon burnt orange print. I really love how it came out. Uh, today I'm wearing it with a sweater over it, but I've done it with a turtleneck underneath it as well. Um, this is rayon fabric that I had printed at Hawthorne Fabrics. And yeah, feeling very festive today. Sleeve number one. I pinned the heck out of it. Wish me luck. Here we go. curious what my entire fabric stash looks like here it is on the table so normally I keep it in that cabinet there but this is the cabinet that has the access to the crawl space and so my husband needed to get to the crawl space so that means I had to take all of my fabric out and of course when you take all of your fabric out then you have to reorganize it so that's a whole separate project. So I decided that I wanted to rearrange it. So normally I just have shelves for the different types of fabric. So I have a cotton shelf, a linen shelf, knit shelf, etc. But what I want to do is separate the fabric that I've cut into and the fabric that I have not cut into and then still have the shelves but keep the stuff I've cut into in the back and the stuff I haven't cut in the front and I don't know I just want to do it that way now so that's also what I'm working on meanwhile we have some attached sleeves here with only one minor mistake and that is that I cut the notches a little too deep the seam allowance is a quarter of an inch so I'm obviously used to cutting notches for five eighths of, five eighths of an inch so I cut them a little deep and so I had to go back and just kind of cover that up but other than that all that we have left is hemming these little sleep hems That is a wrap on the Barra Studio Romy top. I can't believe it's finished, but let's debrief a little bit. Um, yeah, it took me like an entire month almost to fit and alter the pattern, cut it out, sew it. Um, but 
that's like my own thing like the normally this pattern wouldn't take that long i am just extremely sl slow at sewing um but the pattern easy loved it i had no problems with it um the old heart the hardest part of the whole thing was the centimeter seam allowances i don't know um but all the steps were clear it was, I mean, it's a fairly basic um, long sleeve knit top. It just has the little si side ties. So that's the only thing that's really different. Um, yeah, so like the pattern, pattern's good. I feel like I did a pretty good job sewing it, except there's like horns on my shoulders. Um, or it's like kind of wavy and then it kind of like pokes out here. I don't know if that's me just not sewing it correctly or if it's actually a pattern issue. Um, but, or if maybe it'll just kind of like mold over time after you uh, wash it a couple times, maybe it'll kind of go away. If you have any advice on that, let me know. I think that's like the biggest like problem with it. Okay, so in terms of the fitting adjustments that I did, I used this book. I have a link to it down below. And I used the instructions in the book to compare my body measurements to the pattern measurements and figure out which adjustments I needed. I ended up doing a shoulder width adjustment and a wide chest slash wide back adjustment. They're like combined in the book. I don't know why. And so the shoulder width adjustment, yes, I think that was the right thing to do. Um, it's ever so slightly off my shoulder, but that's how it looks in the picture for the pattern. Um, the picture on the model, it's a little off her shoulders. Um, so I'm good with that, except for the horns. I don't know, hopefully the horns aren't because of um, the adjustment, I don't know, maybe they are. I, I don't know, it's like, it actually almost like makes it a little bit more Halloween-y, like it has horns. It's like a little edgier anyways um and then the wide um the wide back i think was fine i mean there's a little bit there's a little bit of looseness here and back here um i'm gonna table that assessment though because the way the pattern's constructed the side ties go all the way up to the armhole so it's actually kind of a like there's a, this space here, like this, it's kind of like a dropped armhole or it's like connected differently. Like it's not, I don't know how to explain it, but the side ties literally start at the armhole. So like, I feel like that's gonna like affect things um, around this region. So who knows, did it work, did it not? I don't know, it looks fine to me. It's whatever, you know, at this point it's done, it's done, what's done is done. Um, I feel like, doing the adjustment that way kind of worked because you know it's like not too small so that's good i always feel like as long as it's not too small then it's okay um i'm gonna call that a win and i'm gonna probably try it on my next pattern as well and we'll see if doing these kinds of adjustments is different in other types of patterns so what else? If I wanted to get like really, really, really detailed, um, the pattern that's printed on here, when the needle goes through it, it kind of like the ink splits a little bit. And so it looks, I don't know, it looks kind of weird. I don't think you can probably see that, but it has to do with like the needle going through the ink that's printed on the fabric. I don't love it and the way that the stitch ends up turning out. Anyways, that's like the smallest detail ever. We don't care, we finished it just in time to wear it. So thank you for coming on this journey with me. Um, thank you for joining me here for So Vlogtober this year. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm curious if you sewed anything to wear this festive Halloween season or if you sewed anything for Halloween, um, let me know. And maybe I'll take some ideas down for next year because I love a festive outfit. So I'm gonna sign off here. Happy Halloween, happy fall. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.